yes, I'm gonna be doing a face reveal today because it has been, it has been too long, guys. It has been too long since I last went live. And the reason I haven't gone live is actually because I've been working to make things better. And then I decided to do a face reveal. A pretty big switch. You might be thinking, why would you do that? Why would you decide to suddenly switch and do a giant face reveal thing? <laughs> Number one, masks are very hard to breathe in. And I didn't realize this. I mean, in the beginning, I was like, oh yeah, it'll be fine. I'll wear a mask. I will conceal my identity and it'll be like so cool and awesome. But then... <laughs> I actually started streaming for like two hours with a mask on and it turns out it's a lot harder than you would think it is. I wanted to talk about reasons why I'm doing YouTube and Twitch and stuff. One of the reasons is because I've been influenced a lot by different creators. I was influenced a lot by different YouTubers like DanTDM and then suddenly when there's a lot of young streamers now like Tommy Ennett and Tebo, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should try to do this too, because I had started doing stuff like this about a year ago. But I didn't post anything because I was so scared. So now I've decided to convert all of my free time of this summer into streaming and doing stuff like that. Another reason is because growing up, there weren't a lot of girl gamers that I resonated very well with. Whether that's because the algorithm didn't give me different girl streamers or whatever. After a while, you know, of being on the internet, it's like most most girl gamers that you see or some girl gamers that you see are like, haha, I'm gonna be a gamer because I'm pretty, you know? And I just, I, I wanted something different for what I was gonna do. I'm gonna be a person of character and I'm gonna try to do this and see what happens. I've already started recording YouTube videos, actually. I have one edited and ready to go out on Saturday after I release the face reveal video. And that's actually turned out pretty good compared to my last ones, because my last ones, they're not great at all. <laughs> they have very bad audio quality. There's no face cam or anything. It's just like a generic kid YouTuber kind of a video. Yeah, I did this one. It has a face cam. It has all sorts of things. After, So yeah, I'll, I'll be uploading on TikTok too, trying to keep good content. Then I'll be doing YouTube. So I'll be doing a lot of different things. But um, I guess all that's left is the face reveal. My improv skills will grow over time. I'm telling you, they will. Let's do a countdown. Not from a minute. I cannot sit here and wait for a minute. Okay, you ready? You ready, guys? Okay, no, I'm not doing that. I'll figure out the brand as we go on. I'll finally be able to breathe after this. I'm excited. Ready? Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh, my face is so sweaty. There I am. Yep, that's me. That's what I look like. Yep, <laughs> here I am. Face reveal. What do you guys think? Does my face look uh, like what you would expect it to be? Or is it like completely pro in proportional from what you expected? <laughs> Disembodied spirits. Cool. Cool. You know, that's a very interesting way to look at the world. Why would I do a face reveal? Because if I go outside, right? If I ever did get anywhere, not saying that I would, but you know, just planning ahead. If I ever did, then I would get like caught in public like people would be like oh can I take a picture with you all the time and I, I don't necessarily like that idea too much like I like the idea of meeting fans it sounds really cool but me being an introvert I feel like I would be really awkward around people more so than you know I, I usually would be especially if I didn't know them but they knew me very well you know through the screen well when I first started doing twitch and stuff when I first started doing twitch and streams and YouTube videos I made sure that I showed my eyes because I believe there's a special connection between people through their eyes, right? People always say if you stare at someone long enough in their eyes then you'll fall in love with them, whatever. I don't want people necessarily to fall in love with me, right? But I want to be able to look at people so they can see my soul and be like, oh, is this a person that I want to watch stream, you know, or is it not a person I want to watch stream? And then I had the mask because I was like, I want to conceal my identity. And there's a lot of people that can completely do that very well. like. Ranbu does that very well. He has like sunglasses too. And so does like people like Mimulus, you know, who has the the mask thing. I don't want to live in the fear of going outside, you know? I just want to get it over with to where I can show my face and then I can just express myself to the fullest, you know, and then it'll be good. So when I created my character, I was like, what am I gonna do? And then I thought polka dots and I was like, okay, I'll just go with polka dots and I found the bow. And it kind of just became this thing where 
And then I realized, oh wait, the bow is yellow, right? And bananas are yellow. And because I had my name Banana Juice. And Banana Juice, the actual name, also has some history on it as well. Because I am an author as well, so I write books. And there is a running joke in one of my books about banana juice and how it wasn't actually a thing. So I'm excited to do a IRL video where it's like, is banana juice actually real? Because I don't think it is. I don't think bananas can be juiced. But a lot of people think that there can be the such thing as banana juice. Like I've seen packages of things that are like banana nectar, you know? Or it's like bananas mushed up and added with water or juice or like apple juice. But I haven't actually seen bananas juiced because I don't think it's a thing. <laughs> Obama juice, you thought it said Obama juice? <laughs> That would be, that would be a killer name though. <laughs> People would be like, I don't know what that means, but I'm a follow. <laughs> also another thing when I first started thinking about this, I started like watching YouTube videos and streamers and I got very impatient. I was like, I need to do this, I need to stream. So I was watching YouTube videos and I was watching different things and Ludwig, he was talking about pick a few streamers who you want to emulate. Streamers that I found myself picking were the ones that I actually got the most benefit from. And I was like, okay, I want the wholesomeness of Tubbo, the energy of Tommy in it, the deepness of Wilbur, and the kindness of Dan TDM. And I don't know how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm a rather awkward person. Fitting all of those in, we'll see, we'll see. I might just have to become what I am and exist as what I am. <laughs> Banana juice supremacy. <laughs> Bananas supremely to all, to all fruits. Also, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret here. This right here is not a whiteboard. Da -na -na -na. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a whiteboard. What this is, is it's supposed to, you do this and then it lights up like this. But it wouldn't come off. So I ended up just cutting it out and stapling it on. <laughs> And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a bunch of little tools and stuff that I'm gonna use during my video. There's a little wand here that I thought I'd use. And then there's the bell, which I still haven't properly figured out how to use. <laughs> Played Minecraft since I was a kid, actually. Probably about 10, nine or 10. Um, but I played it pocket edition for years. But getting a laptop, right? I finally got Minecraft and so, <laughs> I suddenly realized that it's a little bit different on computer than it is on Pocket Edition. I played Pocket Edition since there weren't cows or cakes. I played it when there was only one, one, one page of blocks that you could build with. Like one page in a line of blocks. Like that's how long ago I played it. I played it when there were things like the blue flower that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I played it. I played it a long time ago. So it's kind of funny watching Minecraft YouTubers and then suddenly being like, oh, I'm gonna become a Minecraft YouTuber because it never occurred to me as a kid that I would become or try to become, right? A Minecraft YouTuber. It's just not something that even popped into my brain, but. <coughs> <laughs> I promise it isn't wine, it's just juice. Don't know why I said that. <laughs> just, just clarifying. <laughs> I don't know why I had to clarify that. <laughs> just juice. <laughs> yeah, just juice. It's it's not banana juice, but it'll have to do. You know, it'll have to do. Why do I ring the bell every time I... I don't know, Ellie. <laughs> it just... It just happens. I think it'll I think it'll get better in the future. I did not do it like right up beside the microphone. I did that a few times in the video and I learned while editing the video, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> because uh it got it got not good with the sound quality. <laughs> One day maybe. Okay, ready for this? See you guys later. Love you.